joining us, we have the amazing and incredible, the not holographic currently, Mr. Robert Picardo. Welcome, Mr. Tim Russ. Please welcome Garrett Wong. The one person that you're missing from this show, from the original series, the only gay actor from the original series, George, T well, a lot of people mispronounce his name. T-A-K-E-I, they say Takai, because they see the I, that's an American thing. You just follow the last uh, vowel, right? Takai, and George will always say, it's Takai, rhymes with gay. <laughs> That should be like anything online that you have. You should record George saying that, and that should be the beginning or the end of any message that you throw out there. Just, we, just George going, it's to K, rhymes with gay. And that's it. We, you know, what's funny you say that is we've actually done that, except we huh? used you saying it. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's fine, too. <laughs> I enjoy that. Oh, and, and by the way, um, I just happen to live in Los Angeles, specifically West Hollywood. Ah. Gay pride. So there's no party that I would not be, a, you know, a shock to see. I, so, gay pride parade. Thank you very much. Wow. That's so this is it's less not, gay yeah, it's than just, your regular it, it day. Is, yeah, you're going to have to come up to the, to, to the level for that. You know? I can't wait to hear George say, it's Wong, rhymes with schlong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, please state the nature of the medical emergency. Hmm. Um, so, he lives in West Hollywood, and... The, I, <laughs> Tim lives in West Hollywood. I remember driving my parents through West Hollywood the first time. And my mom goes, oh, this is where the gay lives. And I go, yeah, mom. Because yeah. sometimes immigrant parents have problems with singular and plural. I go, yes, mom, the gay lives here. The one gay lives here. <laughs> this is where the gay lives. Oh, yes, mom. In the most Fabulous house on the block. Right. <laughs> well, this is, um, you know, uh, Garrett, I just have to say, I don't know how many of you have been on Star Trek The Cruise before. By a show of hands, I'm uh, just know? curious how many people. Ooh, there's quite okay. a few here. Th those of you who have been, did you go to Garrett's stand-up night? Three uh, of okay. them did. I, Thank you. I, I have a very basic question. He's funny, right? He's freaking hilarious. Oh, You've got to see this guy with just sitting on, you know, like a bar stool with a bottle of water that is 18 times as large as this one and uh, just kind of going and riffing. And I mean, the power of Delancey, you have him to thank for the power of Delancey, people. Those of you who don't know, Garrett, why don't you tell them what the power of Delancey is? Oh no. Okay, so um, I mean, it is a gay thing happening it, here, so yeah, I feel like that all right, story I'll must share be it. told. I'll share it. Um, we were. It was the very first Star Trek cruise that I did in 2020. Right. It was right before the pandemic happened. That last one, and we were. They introduce all the actors on the very first day. All the fans are on the promenade deck, and they kind of sequester the actors up in this bar um, waiting to bring us down. So we're all sitting there waiting. I'm sitting at the bar talking to Jeffrey Combs. And Jeffrey is a friend of mine for a long time, and we're just talking. And I happen to glance across the bar, and John Delancey is sitting there on a stool with his manager, Gary, and they're having a chat. And the way he's sitting, he's just sort of got his legs splayed open like this, right? So the way he was sitting was so odd that I kind of looked down at his nether regions. <laughs> And I noticed an outline which didn't seem humanly possible to be that large. I was like, what the? <laughs> I tapped Jeffrey Combs. I go, Jeff, 
look over there. Look at Delancey. He's like, yeah, what, what? I go, look at his crotch. And Jeffrey goes, oh, wow. <laughs> what? Denise Crosby's walking behind me. I go, Denise, she goes, hey, Garrett, how are you? I love you. I go, hey, Denise, look over at Delancey. He's like, yeah, what, what? Look at his crotch. She goes, oh, my. <laughs> This went on with every single person I stopped. We're just staring at this outline, which I'm gonna be honest with you, it, again, it was so large that it was in another zip code from John Delancey. I mean, it was just another, I mean, and I sat there going like, oh my goodness. So what ended up happening is I, I asked John, I said, could I please in my stand-up act talk about your anatomy? down there. The fact that you, are the, you have the largest penis known to mankind <laughs> as Q. And he said, go ahead, you know, <laughs> if you must talk about Q's, you know what, go ahead. So he let me do it. So I, I did talk about it. And basically that became, you know, the power of the Lancey story in, in essence. Um, but there's a lot more to it, Dan. I think maybe I can tell it in the breakouts, maybe, you know, that, to each that, one. Yeah, that would yeah. probably be safer. That'd be a little easier um, because then we can, I can gauge who I'm talking to as well. And, so. Yeah, and, and you could get far more graphic. Yes. Uh, but it, I have I don't to think, say... I don't think John is the only Star Trek celebrity to keep his autograph proceeds in his briefs. I... <laughs> But, but that being said, the only person, uh, there was one person, I said, look, did you know that John Delancey is huge down there? And the person I was talking to was Kate Mulgrew. She goes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's been friends with John Delancey forever. And she was, I know. Please, trust me. <laughs> well, that, that story was the inspiration for a Gaze in Space t-shirt that I don't know if you've all seen yet, but uh, it says, everybody loves the D. <laughs> because clearly, if straight guys are that entranced by a large <laughs> dick, everybody loves the D. <laughs> Just had to say that. And thank you, Garrett, they've been selling well. Thank you. Wow, good. <laughs> this is John Glover, and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, Share and subscribe. Lionel Luther recommends it. Ah, have some fun. Follow your fandom.